I'm Dr. M. C. Uthappa. I'm the head of interventional radiology in the Bangalore group of Manipal Hospitals. We are a team of uh, four consultants providing interventional radiology service. Today, I'd like to talk about uh, a recent procedure done at Manipal Hospital Varthur Road called prostate artery embolization. This was about a 79-year-old gentleman who had significant symptoms of urinary tract problems due to an enlarged prostate. After complete initial assessment of IPSS scoring, CT angiography and PSA levels, we counseled him for prostate artery embolization. The procedure is a daycare procedure done with a tiny incision and a catheter placed in the prostatic arteries under x-ray guidance. And once the blood supply to the prostate has been cut off, the prostate gland shrinks and within weeks, the patient sees a significant improvement in the urinary symptoms that they were suffering. So, so we treated uh, this uh, patient named uh, Prasad Rao. Prasad Rao, he is uh, aged 70 years. Uh, he is a gentleman. Uh, came with uh, complaints of uh, poor uh, urinary stream and he had uh, uh, increased frequency of uh, uh, urination. So even in the mornings as well as in the nights, he used to get up and uh, pass frequent urination. And uh, subsequently in the evaluation, he was diagnosed to have uh, uh, the BPH or the benign prostatic hypertrophy of prostate gland. So the gland was approximately measuring uh, 48 uh, uh, cc in volume and uh, his uroflowmetry was also indicative of the obstructive pattern which we see in the uh, BPH. There are two options for this uh, kind of a patient. One is the medical management and the other is the surgical management. So he was tried uh, prior uh, for six months uh, with the medical management uh, but uh, which was not helping him. In our department we use uh, to treat these kind of patients with a pinhole kind of a option. So this we do the uh, PAE or the prostatic artery embolization with a very small pinhole. So we gain access into the blood vessel near the groin of the patient. So that is a very two to three millimeter uh, pinhole. Through this we gain access into the blood vessel and take angiogram of the pelvis region where the prostate gland is situated. So when we assess the blood supply of the prostate and see which all the feeding arteries going towards the prostate. We inject medicated plastic particles called the PVA particles into these vessels which will decrease the blood supply to the prostate gland. So eventually what happens is over a period of time the prostate gland uh, shrinks and the symptoms of the patient becomes better. The urinary flow becomes better uh, and the stream becomes better and the patient will have uh, less and less symptoms. So this is uh, most of the times we do under uh, daycare and uh, sometimes if the patient has some mild discomfort we keep him for uh, uh, one more day. So the Prasad Rao patient, uh, we did uh, him uh, the procedure on uh, afternoon and he was, uh, he was uh, doing well and uh, immediately the next day in the morning we reviewed him with uh, no fever, no pain in the leg and in the pelvis uh, so we uh, uh, discharged him. So during the uh, discharge we tell them uh, to take some uh, painkillers uh, if at all if it is needed and uh, we check on them uh, after a week uh, with a telephonic uh, interview. So this is how the uh, prostatic artery embolization is uh, done in our setup. Uh, so we have uh, sufficient expertise uh, uh, even in all the Manipal units across the Bangalore. Uh, and we have all the state of art uh, cath lab uh, equipment which is important uh, for this procedure. Today I am also happy to report that uh, we have completed uh, 25 procedures of prostate artery embolizations for these needy patients. As we have updated previously, the prostate artery embolization procedure has been a significant landmark in patients who are suffering from benign enlargement of prostate. It is also interesting to note that these patients going forward almost up to 5 to 10 years do not need any form of surgery secondary to the prosthetic enlargement. We wish uh, our dear patient uh, a similar outcome going forward in the years to come. Thank you.